What's going on, everyone? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh K. The Lonely Hermit, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new series. We're back in Hoenn for like the 17th time in the, this year alone. Um, today, we have our Emerald Shiny Lock type lock. This is my Choose My Starter episode. Uh, so we're, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip through all this stuff. Um, yeah, this is our Choose My Starter episode. So. Uh, you can vote down in the comments down below check out the Twitter poll that I'm gonna have on my Twitter My link is down below as well. Both your votes count uh, Separately, so you can have as many as two votes. So go and check that out um, Vote on my starters for the episode or for the series rather um, but Yeah, an emerald shiny lock type lock uh, So before we get in before I start explaining that actually um, check out all the links down below. We have a fire red leaf green three versus a black and white versus and the EBL All that stuff should be down below. Uh, check out Twitter Instagram all that fun stuff uh, Follow and subscribe. It's necessary. It's all greatly appreciated uh, And yeah, so what is a type lock? So essentially a type lock normal does lock rules, which I'm sure you guys know about uh, a type lock is I cannot catch Pokemon um, if I do not have their type unlocked. So if I catch Pokemon, let's say my starter is a fire type. I have the fire type unlocked. That means that my, um, the only Pokemon that I can catch are starters. That's what that means. So as we continue to go, we unlock more and more types. Last type lock, we only had three types we didn't unlock. Now, my personal rules for a tag lock, I have two tries per encounter. Which just makes life easier gives us more chances to unlock typings uh, the typing goes based off of the Pokemon's current typing at that moment if the Pokemon gets the typing later on it does not matter we go based off of that typing the example I used in the last series okay what a certain series we got lucky <laughs> let's go <laughs> all right um, but <laughs> the, the example I used in the last series was that Mudkip when it evolves it gets the ground typing I forgot to set my time uh, it gets the ground typing we don't care about that what we care about is the uh, the current typing so let's say we get a Mudkip we only unlock water even though it later becomes the ground type we only unlock the water typing um, for Mudkip uh, it, like like if we were to catch a Mudkip um, Beyond that, static Pokemon can unlock a typing, not counting starter. Well, starter does, but this is a different scenario. Um, so in this game, it would be what? The cast form. So if at that point, we only have three or less types unlocked, the start, uh, the static can unlock typings for us. Um, other than that, we have to take what's unlocked. Like, let's say we get the cast form and we don't have that typing unlocked, then uh, we can't use that static Pokemon. Um, I really hope that we don't have only three types by that point. Uh, so hopefully our cast form is, uh, something we can use as well. But yeah, that's how static Pokemon are going to work. Now, shiny lock additions. What I'm going to do, I was originally just going to do my two tries. And then if my two tries, if I get a Pokemon I can use, I was going to shiny hunt for that Pokemon. But instead we're going to shiny hunt and those first two Pokemon, uh, are the first two Pokemon we get on the shiny hunt is, uh, so, I'm sorry, I said that way wrong. Um, we're gonna shiny hunt normally. Um, the shinies that we get though, the first two shinies that we get are our encounters. So, I'm just gonna go, go, go until we get shinies. And uh, yeah, so. But, with all that being said, uh, hopefully that'll make sense. If it didn't, it, you guys will understand as time goes on. That was weird, my game froze. All right, so, anyways, this is what the episode is for. This is the best part of starting any series ever. It's just the starters. So first up, we have Togetic, normal flying. That would unlock the flying type and normal. Those are very common typings. I would not be upset with that. Ooh, okay. We have Victory Bell, the Grass Poison. That unlocks two typings as well. We have Low Disc. It unlocks the water typing, but it's not a very good Pokemon. I'd be very happy with either of these two. But knowing you guys, you're probably all gonna pick Love Disc, and I'm gonna be stuck with that. But you know, it's okay. I'm a master Nuzlocker. I can deal with it. I'm really not. I'll probably die <laughs> very quickly. Uh, so those are your options. We have Victory Bell, Togetic, and Love Disc. Uh, two very good. Uh, well, one very good option, one pretty good option, and one like all right uh, option. Uh, so again, you can comment down below on this video. You can also vote on the Twitter poll. I'm gonna have up. Go check that out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna count both of your votes and I will say voting will end um, the, the Friday voting one Friday. Let's say Friday morning voting will end um, I everything past that I'm not gonna count. So you have almost a whole week to get your votes in uh, to try and um, 
get the Pokemon you want as my starter. So you can either screw me over and give me the love disc, which I mean, again, it unlocks water typing, so it's not terrible. Or you can give me a uh, Pokemon that unlocks uh, two typings at once. So vote down below, go vote on Twitter, you know, uh, participate uh, and yeah. Check out my socials down below, my Twitter and Instagram below, have lonely underscore. Check out my placings down below, we got the Fire Leaf Green 3 versus, we have the Black and White versus, and uh, we have the EBL. So all that good stuff should be down below, check it out. Um, and of course, be sure to share socials with your friends, family, everyone, you know, let people know lonely where it's at. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.